if you build it, they won't come. <laughs> hey guys, just because you build a website doesn't mean anybody's gonna see it. Even if you're good at writing content, it doesn't mean anybody's gonna see it. You gotta drive traffic. So how do you get traffic to your website aside from the traditional SEO ways? There are five ways that I wanna show you today on how to drive free traffic to your website. So without further ado, let's roll into it. Okay, so I'm back. What's up guys, I'm Adrian Boysell and thank you for tuning in to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. I always love spending this time with you guys to talk to you guys about building your websites, building your business, and building your future. Okay, today is very special because I'm gonna show you five ways to generate free traffic. Now, keep in mind, you may be using some of these, one or more of these, but these five ways are very, very important to help you drive traffic to your website and if you build your website the right way, generate the right traffic with the right messaging that's actually going to convert into income, into revenue, into business, and into a future that you can actually see. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, number one is podcasting. Man, it seems like everybody and their mom, their cousin, their aunt, their uncle, their friends, their colleagues, their dog has a podcast these days. It's crazy how many podcasts are online. But you may not know that 95% of podcasts, at least the last statistic that I checked, are listened to on iTunes. So what I want you to do is I want you to get onto a podcast, okay? That is my first homework assignment for you today in this video is to get yourself on a podcast. Now you may be asking yourself, how the heck do I get onto a podcast? Well, a podcast is gonna help you generate a ton of traffic back to you, especially if it's a bigger podcast, even on the smaller podcast, even if one, two, five, ten people see you, that is free traffic just from spending some of your time. Now it's not gonna cost you money financially and if a podcaster tries to charge you financially, I would just honestly recommend going a different direction unless it's really, really cheap and they have a big following. Uh, I would recommend you just getting on free podcasts. The goal is, is to have something to offer, a strong why, a strong message. And so what you can do is if you have a strong why, a strong message, then you can go and approach these people on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on their websites for their podcast, and you can write comments on the podcast and say that you wanna be featured. But don't make this all about you. As you know, and as I've talked about in many other videos, it's all about delivering value up front. I want you to go listen to their podcasts. I want you to do this very authentically, very organically. Go to these podcasts and listen to their episodes, listen to the speakers, see how you align with them, because I wanna make sure that before you go on these podcasts that you're a good fit, that you actually have the same core values, the same interests, because the worst thing to do is to be on a podcast, be five, 10, 15 minutes into it, and all of a sudden realize, uh-oh, I'm not on a show that really aligns with who I am and have tension with the podcast host or maybe somebody else that's on the show and you don't wanna have that. You wanna make your every opportunity that you have to generate traffic to yourself, you wanna make yourself look good. And putting yourself in a tough position with a podcast that you shouldn't be on is not a good not a good scenario. So I want you to get on a podcast that align with your vision, that align with your purpose, and align with your mission. Very important. And then just send them a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of the platforms you can, and don't make this all about you. It's okay to put a little gold nugget about why they should listen to you in terms of what you're willing to offer them, what you do, but make it about them because they're asking themselves, well, what's in it for me? What's in it for my audience, okay? They're always asking what's in it for the audience. So make sure that whatever it is you have that you're gonna offer them is valuable to them first. Lead with the value up front. That's always, you wanna lead with a, with a napkin, not a bib. You're not trying to feast in, off of these people. You're trying to deliver value to them. So if you can deliver content and information and knowledge and expertise that actually helps them and helps their audience, you'll be way more receptive to that person. That person will be way more interested in having you on their show. And make sure that you're unique. Make sure that what you're doing is different and special from everybody else because you don't want to sound the same. And that's all part of your brand. Your brand should be different from everybody and anybody else's out there. Nobody else can be Adrian Graphics and Marketing, right? Nobody else can make these funny faces and do these funny intros. And who else could have hair like this? I mean, come on. So you want to make sure that your podcast episode is good, that you have a good spark with the person. And so leading with value is very, very important. That's number one, okay? Number two is Zoom. 
Zoom is an awesome platform. Tons and tons of people are using Zoom. People are going on Zoom for conferences, for virtual summits, for master classes, for trainings, for group, group coaching, group consulting. There's Zoom being used every single day, especially since we can't do these one-on-one -on -one networking groups. It's really important that you hop on the digital world and then you get Zoom. If you don't have an account, I would really recommend that you go get an account. It's really cheap and it will pay for itself if you use it often. It's a very, it's a no-brainer, right? Just like a networking group. And I wanna give a shout out to the Happy Neighborhood Project because I recently was on one of their Zoom calls where they had like 60, 70, 80 people on one Zoom call. Those were all potential clients, all potential business owners that I could build a relationship with. We were broken into separate rooms. I mean, it was a blast. There's so much fun that you can have on Zoom calls. So you should be using Zoom and interviewing other people. You could start your own podcast. Like I said, there's tons of people doing it, so it's not a, it's a very crowded space, but if you're doing it just to have it as a platform to be able to have build a relationship with somebody, awesome. You can use that content, record it, put it up on the podcast, put it up on different places. Really great way to do it, but Zoom is another one. It's just the video version of doing that. So that content that you do on your Zoom can also be used on a podcast episode. So take the opportunity to jump on Zoom calls, conferences, networking groups, there's tons of Zooms, look out for it. You'll see it on your Facebook, you'll see it on your social platforms, you'll see people running ads. This is just a really good way to build your awareness, to build your reputation, and to get in front of more people, especially when we're stuck behind our computers, stuck in our houses, and can't go meeting people, out to meet people face-to-face -face at events and networking groups and things like that. So that's a really good way to do it, okay? Number three, this is the third way to generate free traffic, which you're gonna need, is blogging. Now, I emphasize this and I wanna stress this to you because blogging is a very good strategy, but I just got done with an interview with an SEO expert that speaks at conferences all over the world on SEO. If you're expecting an immediate return on investment, it's not gonna work out that great. You need to understand that it takes six to 12 months of blogging consistently to see an ROI and to see your traffic go up, just like with YouTube. Okay, it's really important that you spend the time building the foundation and that you write quality content. You're sharing your knowledge, your expertise, wherever you got it from, it doesn't matter, but you're putting it into your own words, making it original and delivering it with your authenticity, with your approach, with your personality and with your value. That is really, really important. Blog articles are a great way. And you know what? Another thing you can do is you can go onto rev.com, you can take your Zoom calls, you can take your podcast episodes, and you can, down, you can have that transcribed, you can clean it up, and you can upload it as a blog article. You post a photo along with it, you post a video along with it, just makes your blog articles even better. Better, 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 better. You see, I can't even talk. So you need to be able to go in and actually focus on creating content for multi-channels. These are all channels that are gonna drive you free traffic. Free traffic is gonna create conversions, it's gonna create interest because you're gonna be attracting people that know you, like you, and trust you. That is the secret. You've heard me talk about this before if you've watched my videos. If you haven't, you need to be aware that people do business with those that they know, they like, and they trust. So if you wanna be known, you wanna be liked, and you wanna be trusted, then you gotta be yourself. You gotta be your goofy, silly, funny self. You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta be willing to take risks, be out of your comfort zone, and that is a really good way to build relationships with people. And by sharing your knowledge and your passion, you're gonna create an interest. And that interest is gonna create a desire, which if you do it right, you'll get them to take action. You actually gotta encourage them to take action, like I've encouraged you to do some homework and start focusing on at least a few of these channels, at least three. I want you to pick three of these that I'm gonna cover with you today, okay? The next one, is social. Social is a really powerful platform. You can get on Instagram, you can get on Facebook, you can get on Twitter, you can get on TikTok. I know TikTok is a raging, big, booming social media platform right now, and if you can jump on early and build bandwidth and you create short little business tips or health tips or cooking tips or whatever your business is, if you're a creator, show designs that you're doing in 60 seconds, you can post videos up to 60 seconds, it's a great platform to generate traffic. I have all of my traffic going from my TikTok, which isn't a ton because I'm just starting out on it, going directly to my YouTube channel. That's a really big deal. You wanna funnel all of your traffic usually to one place. It could be all to your website, it could be all to your Facebook, it could be all to your landing page. Everything should be focused on delivering to one call to action and to one offer. 
very, very key, very critical to business growth is being able to send them to one specific common thing that you're doing over and over and over again. You're sending that traffic that you're gonna get. Now over time, as you continue to blog, as you continue to post on social, as you continue to share all of this content across all these different platforms, you're gonna see your, see your traffic start to incrementally jump and climb and climb to the point where now you have thousands of people visiting your page per month. That's the level that we've finally reached. It's taken a long time to get there, but if you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to put in the time, you're willing to put in the energy, you can do all of these things with no money, no financial dollars out of your pocket. It's completely free for any of these platforms. So this is something that I'm doing a lot of. I'm using my content that I record on my podcast and my, uh, on my other channels that I'm using and I'm repurposing it for other places, especially like YouTube. And that leads me to the last one. YouTube is an amazing platform to help build your brand, to build authentically, to capture an audience, okay? Whether it's men or women, 18 to 24, enthusiasts in digital marketing, enthusiasts in finance, whatever your passion is, there is a community of people on YouTube. And it's important no matter what platform you're on, if you're on Discord, which is a really great platform, I would encourage you, is another social platform I would encourage you to get on, whether it's Discord or TikTok or YouTube or, um, uh, Facebook, whatever the platform is, you need to make sure that you are being engaging, that you're engaging on them. You can comment on other people's comments. You can like other people's comments. You actually need to be offering value to other people and not just expecting to receive. It's all about giving. So you want to comment on other YouTubers. You want to comment on other Facebook posts. You want to comment on other TikTokers. You want to support. You want to like. You want to follow. You want to be giving back to the community, not just taking things. Okay. You don't want to be a taker. You want to be a giver. And that is part of really building value with people. People will see that. If you're a taker, they're going to see that you're just in it for your own gain. You need to have a strong why in all that you do. And I have another video that you should watch. I'll post a link above of what is your why. Your why, like mine, should be very strong. I get up out of bed every day because my mission is to help restore at-risk youth, or restore broken families and help at-risk youth, people who don't have somebody on their side, people who don't have an advocate for them. I am the advocate for you. I am the advocate for the creative. I am the advocate for the designer. I'm the advocate for the entrepreneur. I'm the advocate for the person who didn't finish high school. It's very important that you take the time to understand what your why is. And if you don't have a why, you don't have a strong why, you don't have a strong passion, then you need to take the time to learn that. And that's part of what I'm doing here. I just created a video series on how to create an online business. And like I talked about in the very first video, I'm doing these every Wednesday, is you need to make sure that you have a strong why. What is your why? What is your purpose? So that that can apply and you can wrap that around all the content that's gonna create traffic, that's gonna go back to you, that can not only offer value to them, but can offer value to you. This should be a fair back and forth. It's not all about giving and not receiving. You will receive. If you give value to people, I promise you, you will receive in return. It's just the way things go, okay? So the YouTube channel is a really good one and I'll start from the beginning in terms of the different channels just to rehash. Number one, is podcasts. Number two is Zoom. Number three is blogs. Number four is social. And number five is YouTube. These are all free ways you can generate traffic, create a buzz, create awareness, create desire, create interest, and create action. And that's ultimately what you want at the end of the day. But in order to create action, you have to create awareness. And in order to create awareness, you have to create traffic. In order to get traffic, you have to post content, okay? You have to get in content creation mode, whether that's you interviewing other people and creating your own platforms or you going on other people's platforms and doing interviews. That's all content that can be used to help bring awareness to you, to help bring traffic. So I hope this was very helpful for you guys today. I'm happy. It's Monday. I'm going to go kill it for the rest of the week. I hope you guys do too. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, keep looking up.